Now, an attempt will be made today to launch a rocket that's planned eventually to take people to Moon and the Mars. Uh, now, known as Starship, it's the biggest, most powerful rocket ever built, developed by SpaceX. It stands over 100 metres tall and it's uh, attempting to fly to space for the first time. But the company's founder, Elon Musk, has said he thinks it's only a 50-50 chance of success. Our science editor, Rebecca Morrell, explains. Getting ready for its biggest test. This is Starship, the tallest and most powerful rocket system ever built. And it's about to make its first attempt at flying to space. Well, what makes Starship special is, first of all, it's really big. <laughs> like, really big. We'll have about 17 million pounds of thrust, so about twice as big as the biggest rocket we've ever launched. So the, the, the scale of the thing with over 30 engines, uh, you know, it's just, it's just gargantuan. Built by Elon Musk's company SpaceX, Starship has been in development for years. Parts of the rocket have been tested, making short flights with attempted landings, not always successfully. But the idea is to be able to bring the entire launch system back to Earth, making it fully reusable. For this test flight, Starship will blast off from the SpaceX launch pad in Texas. First, the lower part of the rocket will detach for a controlled splashdown in the ocean. The upper stage will carry on, aiming for almost a full orbit of Earth, before finally ending up in the Pacific. There's a lot that could go wrong, and even Elon Musk admits there's only a 50% chance it will work. If they get all the way around and this vehicle splashes down just off Hawaii, they might actually be a little bit surprised that they've been that successful. But that's just part of the process, part of the engineering development that they're doing. So we should expect failure. It's quite probable there will be some sort of failure along the way, but that's why they're doing it. That's why they want to learn from this. This will be the first of many tests. Eventually, the plan is for Starship to return astronauts to the lunar surface in a joint mission with NASA. SpaceX have then set their sights on Mars. The first step, though, is to be able to launch and land to show this technology works. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News.